in part one, chapter five of A Clockwork Orange. When Alex wakes up that evening, he sees that someone took the album off the stereo and here's his parents in the living room. In the guise of loving only son, he pretends to have slept all day. His father, P, looks suspicious, but says nothing as Alex cleans up and dresses for his supposed job. P asks what Alex does at work, but Alex replies vaguely with a straight, dirty look that warns mm. his father not to pry. P continues on that he says he had a bad dream in which Alex was beaten into a pulp. Alex tells his father not to worry and gives him coins to go out for a drink, unnerved when he recalls the dream of Dim whipping him on Georgie's orders. Dim, Georgie, and Pete are waiting outside his building when Alex goes down, worried they might have offended him the night before. Alex explains that he had a headache. Georgie, feigning concern, suggests that it came from giving orders and discipline and such. Alex objects to Georgie's sarcasm and reaffirms that he is the gang's leader, but Georgie announces that the gang has a new way. Pete adds it'll be more democratic-like. They have talked to Will the English, who says that they can get big, big, big money for stolen items. Alex projects calm, but feels real razdraz, upset or angry, as he asks why the boys want more money when they have everything they need. Alex pretends to agree to Georgie's plan, but suddenly pulls out his razor. Pete holds Dim back as Alex and Georgie circle each other. Alex slashes Georgie's hand, and Georgie drops his knife and stares at the blood, while Alex faces Dim and his chain, disarming him with a slash to the hand as well. Pete doesn't want to fight, so Alex wraps Dim's hand in a handkerchief, having defended his authority. Dim complains that he could have chained his glazies, or eyes. They establish alibis again at the Duke of New York, then head out to rob a wealthy old woman Will the English told Georgie about. Alex is stunned and threatened by the disloyalty of his droogs, as they called themselves. The droogs are still criminals, but they're thinking like adults who need resources and who share power in decision-making. Alex, on the other hand, is behaving, ironically, like the state he condemns, trying to force his motivations and desires on others. 